A billionaire, and he says he doesn't know or care who writes his checks. Bill Austin is the owner of Starkey Technologies in Eden Prairie. Its foundation fits people with free hearing aids around the world. The organization's annual star studded fundraiser is this weekend in St. Paul. And Susan Elizabeth Littlefield sat down with the man behind Starkey, who, as you'll see, never saw himself in this position. The lights, the camera, photo ops, Bill and Tanny Austin are in the center of it all, famous by default. I never dreamed about having a, a big company and lots of money as being an important thing. I would have been happy to work in a place that had the bottom line that I had. And if you think that's all talk. We could shorten it and cut it down more. You should see this. You have been putting it in, right? Yes, I have. As we walked into Starkey for our interview, we noticed Bill. It holds pretty darn good. Quietly fitting a patient. He never works a day in his life. So he's out there, it's, 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 it's his hobby. Growing up in Oregon, he came to Minnesota to become a missionary doctor. He picked up part-time work at a hearing aid shop. His first customer was an older man with a pesky aid. Bill figured out the problem. When I saw the look in his eyes, it struck me of, of what that meant to him. And with that, he decided to change course, buying a hearing aid shop in 1967. Even though Bill Austin oversees this 4,100-person company, there's some things he chooses not to see. I haven't written a check since August 1970. I don't know who writes my checks. I have no idea and I don't care. Despite the growth of Starkey's technology side, it's the charitable wing, the foundation that he works with full time, traveling 10 months a year all over the world. He insists on doing fittings himself. I could tell someone else to do that. I have, I have hundreds of people to do that. Why do I do it? Because I can do it better. And I think my patients deserve the best. If they come here and I'm here, I want to help them task that as we witnessed he could barely pull himself away from. If I want to talk to him I sit in his chair. <laughs> it's the only way I can get him to listen. I'm confident that I'm not going to let any pesky ear defeat me. As Bill Austin kept his eyes on the ear he built quite the reputation. People come to me from all over the world to have hearing help. I fit five U.S. presidents, Mother Teresa, two popes. <laughs> and he and the people writing the checks built an empire along the way thousands of employees, the only American hearing manufacturer. He is officially a billionaire who is working for another title. But to me, a hero is someone who does something for someone that can't repay them and can't give them anything back. They do it as a respect for life. Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. The gala is coming up on Sunday. Katy Perry is headlining, and this year's honoree is former President George W. Bush.